Police has cautioned the public as it steps up its operations in enforcing the standard operating guidelines for COVID-19. This follows the continued flouting of the health ministry guidelines leading to the rise in the spread of COVID-19. There are those sectors that have been stealthily uh, operating and yet they are still under the lockdown. People are still sneaking, going into bars, uh, having uh, public uh, gatherings. Uh, some of those markets that are not supposed to operate like uh, those dealing in non-essential items have also come out. So we are going to ensure that those sectors under the lockdown still remain under so. According to police spokesman Fred Enanga, all checkpoints that had earlier been removed from various parts of the city and its suburbs will be reinstated. We are going to man them afresh. We are going to ensure that they are active 24-7 during day and during night uh, so that we see how uh, this intensification of the enforcement mechanisms can help in the reduction or in the fight against COVID-19. Border border riders and motorists who drive beyond the stipulated curfew time will be dealt with. What we'd realized with the movement of uh, uh, public transport, especially border borders, is that they had, uh, most of them have ignored the 6 p.m. Uh, timing that was given to them and they are still continuing to operate and even carry passengers in a very reckless manner from 6 p.m. up to almost 11 p.m. Now the same applies with uh, all other motorists. All other businesses that are supposed to stop at 9 because the curfew starts at 9 and uh, what we are seeing is that shops are still open. There is still movement after 9. The UPDF deputy spokesperson Lieutenant Colonel Doa Kik says UPDF is stepping up security to ensure a smooth nomination of members of parliament over the next week. Recently we had primaries, there were some issues both involving us and involving some of the contenders. We have a reason to believe that some of the things did not go well and we don't want that to happen again. And therefore, standard operating procedures are being put in place to make sure that uh, we don't have any encumbrances we as security. Uh, no any security person should do something contrary to what he's supposed to do. The move is meant to avoid an occurrence of the previous violence demonstrated during the NRM party primaries. The Electoral Commission will conduct the nomination exercise for aspiring members of parliament up to the 15th October this week. Aaron Mukama, NTV.